Hello dear all. In this presentation, we discuss case taking, proforma analysis and evaluation in homeopathy. So, what is analysis and evaluation? Analysis of symptoms is identification, naming, classification of symptoms. What is evaluation of symptoms? It is arranging the symptoms according to their importance. So, what is definition of case taking? It is individualizing examination of patient. Dr. Henneman gave in aphorism number 83, qualities of physician that is freedom from prejudice, attention in observation, sound senses and fidelity in tracing the picture of disease. So, physician has to be faithful in constructing the totality of symptoms means exact picture of disease to be traced. Freedom from prejudice we already discussed as unprejudiced observer. Attention in observation means physician should be very attentive and observant for the patient. He should have sound senses means special senses must be intact. It is said that a well taken case is half cured. And the importance of case record is Described as a case without record is like a ship without radar. So what is the philosophy behind case taking in homeopathy? Homeopathy treats patients. Homeopathy does individualization. That means the importance given to mental general symptoms and physical general symptoms. That is MGA. PG. Homeopathy removes the disease from roots. So, what are the roots of disease? They are in MG and PG, mental generals and physical generals. Disease originates in the invisible interior of man. That is in the center that is in the vital energy and where is the vital energy it is present in every cell so this center is represented as mg and pg as they but they are invisible symptoms so physician perceives the patient means he feels the patient's mental generals and physical general symptoms and why he has to feel because they are invisible symptoms he can't see these symptoms so physician not just sees the disease visible to eyes but he sees and feels the patient's invisible symptoms he treats the man that is mental generals and physical general symptoms. Homeopathy treats patients. That means I again say it is the importance done given for individualization. Mental generals and physical generals are the individualizing features of patients. They are invisible symptoms. Art of case taking is to feel these symptoms MG and PG, mental generals and physical general symptoms. Physical particulars are also important as they are common symptoms. They also help in disease diagnosis and remedy selection. So, totality of symptoms is nothing but collection of MG, PG and PP. That means mental generals, physical generals and physical particulars. MG and PG are written in red. They are the most important. Selection of similima is based on MG and PG. Matching has to be done.
at mo most important MGPG and also with physical particulars. In case taking pro forma, we are considering as preliminary data as name, age, sex, occupation of the patient because each is having its own value. Then marital status of patient, religion of patient, address, economical status, all are very important and all of you know its importance of each and every title. Chief complaint, very important, it is considered under origin, duration and progress and written as location, sensation, modalities and concomitants. This helps in analysis and evaluation of patient, of his symptoms. Associated complaints also noted under origin, duration and progress and written as location, sensation, modalities and concomitants which help in analysis and evaluation of symptoms in patient. Past history and family history very important. Past history and family history gives idea about fundamental miasm. Past history, you have to ask to patient about his diseases in the past, any hospitalization, vaccination or mishap. And specifically ask about whether patient suffered from tuberculosis, typhoid, hepatitis, pneumonia, malaria. We come to know the fundamental miasm of patient. In family history, ask about the history of diseases in parents, maternal, paternal uncle, aunts and grandparents. And also specifically ask about tuberculosis, diabetes, hypertension, cancer. We come to know about the fundamental miasm. From chief complaint, we are going to assess the dominant miasm present. We consider personal history of the patient very important as physical genres under appetite, thirst, cravings, aversion, sweet, perspiration that is stool, urine and thermal state. Also in females most important menstrual history and obstetric history. Then important is sexual history, general sensation and modalities. So, specifically we are going to ask to each and every patient whether he has any aggravation from sun or you know fasting is not tolerated or some problems when he is driving and traveling or how is the wound healing whether it is delayed or normal. Then data about sleep and dreams. Most important about the mind, you have to ask patients mental general symptoms. They are of three types, emotions, intellect and subconscious. Most important is you emotions, intellect and subconscious, the causation, then modalities. So, mind ailments from most important and that too in the emotions. So, anger, grief, fears, etc. Then ask about the modalities, aggravation and amelioration. So, in this first important is emotions, then intellect and subconscious state. So, what can be the symptoms of emotions? It is anger, grief, hatred, jealousy or anxiety. What is intellectual symptoms? It is will, motivation, drive, ambition and memory. And subconscious state is dreams. Later we do the examination of patient that is systemic and general examination. Then provisional diagnosis. Then investigations and final diagnosis. 
in analysis and evaluation we are going to do for purpose of forming the totality of symptoms to arrive at the remedy what is analysis of symptoms that is we are going to classify the symptoms as mental generals physical generals and physical particulars so mental generals always important and physical generals and they are important that physical particular symptoms symptoms are always important than signs causation more important than aggravation and aggravation more important than amelioration mental generals emotions are more important then intellectual symptoms and they are more important than subconscious state physical generals the general modalities are most important and thermal state most important menstrual history obstetric history and sexual history so mental general physical generals most important as they constitute the individualizing features of patient general modalities for example sun aggravation fasting aggravation and how is the wound healing how is the motion aggravation then elements from causative emotional modality that is most important in the case then is aggravating emotional modality and ameliorating emotional modality then comes the mental state and then the intellectual symptoms and subconscious state so totality of symptoms is collection of mental generals physical generals and physical particulars mental generals are the symptoms of emotions intellect and subconscious so i have written e i and s c physical generals personal history physical particulars is lsmc that is location sensation modality and concomitant selection of similimum depends on totality of symptoms the most important are characteristic symptoms individualization of patient is done as we discussed earlier in homeopathy we give importance to the patient symptoms that is mental generals and physical general symptoms mental generals i have again said emotions intellect and subconscious and physical general symptoms are found in patient's personal history then we arrive at classification of disease in chronic disease cause is miasm the types of chronic disease sura psychosis and syphilis in acute diseases cause is exciting for example sun aggravation getting wet in rains or hot weather and then getting cold so we get accordingly remedies like glonoin rustox or prionia types of acute diseases are individual sporadic and epidemic then we arrive at probable remedies and with help of homeopathic matra medica differentiation is done to arrive at final remedy cure is possible only if similimum is administered then prescription given about remedy potency and repetition diet and regimen is also advised and that was about the discussion on pro forma of case taking and analysis and evaluation Thank you